It is package install day here at the Bee and Bloom Apiary. And so we thought we'd walk you through a package installation from start to finish. This is our package here. So this is basically a wood and mesh box filled with roughly three and a half pounds of bees. There are probably about eight to 10,000 bees in here. Here you can see that there is a can of sugar syrup that keeps the bees fed and hydrated while they're in transit. And then you can see the little pink end of the queen cage here. The queen is actually suspended in the middle in a little plastic cage in the middle of this cluster of bees here. We've got our package here and I'm gonna set them off to the side for a moment. So in order to prepare a Langstroth hive for a package installation, we leave our bottom box on with all of the frames in place. I pull out the six middle frames here in this 10 frame. And that way I have a nice big open cavity to shake my bees into. The next step is to remove our queen cage. So to do that, I'm going to knock all of the clustered bees to the bottom of the package. So using my hive tool, I will work my sugar can out. Some bees are going to escape while you're doing this and that's okay. And I'm going to remove the queen cage and cross my fingers I don't drop it. All right, we've got her here. I'll set her safely to the side and put the can back in place. I'll have to knock my bees out of the way. Go on, ladies. And you just gently kind of wiggle it back in. I've got my queen cage here. I'm inspecting to make sure that she's alive and well in here. And then I'm gonna remove the plastic cap and expose the candy plug. This is what the bees are gonna chew through over the next couple of days in order to release the queen. I'm gonna place her down here in the corner of a frame at the bottom of the box. So we've got our queen in place and now it's time to actually shake the rest of the bees in. So in order to do this, I'm going to once again firmly knock the bees to the bottom of the package. This just loosens them up. They're all really grippy and sticky in there with their little legs on the mesh uh, and on each other. So we're just gonna loosen them up by firmly knocking them down. And then we're just going to go ahead and pour them in. If this is your first time installing a package, you can mentally prepare yourself. It's going to be a big loud cloud of bees, but they're not angry bees. They're just confused. No need to be afraid. I actually find this to be a somewhat peaceful experience now, the buzz of bees. All right, so I've removed my can again. I'm just gonna set that off to the side and we're going to knock them and pour. I like to think of it as pouring rather than shaking. I don't like to shake the package around too much. I think that's probably even more irritating to the bees. So once again, and I'm gonna do it on the ground this time so as not to disturb these guys, I'm gonna knock them to knock them loose again. And then I'm gonna pour. And I'll repeat that one more time. All right, there are always going to be some bees that remain in the package. They're just uh, sticking on the mesh and that's okay. You just set this by the entrance of the hive and they'll be able to smell the activity of the rest of the colony in the hive and make their way in through the entrance in the next half an hour or so. 
so now that the bulk of the bees and the queen are inside of the hive, we're gonna go ahead and replace the frames. We run foundationless hive systems, so we're letting our bees build their comb directly in these empty frames. When we're starting a package, we usually like to put already drawn comb in there, a few of them to kind of space between the empty bars. That gives the bees a straight guide to kind of follow uh, rather than getting creative and going off in cross comb patterns. In the absence of drawn comb, we will utilize foundation. So we'll put a few foundation frames in the middle of our empties we find that they like to draw on the empty frames first. So usually what happens is they start building some beautiful straight comb on the foundationless frames and we go in and pull the foundation before they use it. And we can replace those with empty frames. All right, now that the bees are all in place, I'm gonna go ahead and replace my frames. You just kind of wiggle the bees out of the way, <laughs> gently. I feel like the hardest part of installing packages is getting this damn can out. <laughs> 